Do you? Huh? He's gonna make you pay. Well, that's good. Because when it comes to paying up, I've got a great line of credit. What's all that about? They got crazy than Murdoch. Beats me, B.A. And we talk. Uh, well, we talk back and forth. We met up and had a, a drink once or twice. So he was really uh, social, sociable, and uh, just a nice man, a lovely man. And I suppose, uh, Robert, we see your character right from the off in that sort of episode when the A team sort of roll into town to go to Ray Brenner's sort of funeral. You see this sort of uh, hillbilly sort of uh, redneck at the sort of petrol station sort of such. And uh, he's all, he's sort of, um, let dare I say, he's probably one of those weasel type characters of the, he's not the brawn of the Watkins uh, sort of fan, but you get to see that this is a guy who uh, knows how to squirm out of a tight situation. Yeah, he's sort of a weak, fearful kind of guy. He was not uh, the toughest bad guy I ever played. And, you know, there was humor put into that bad guy series. There was humor. And, uh, and I think the way Mr. T would handle me and look at me, <laughs> who was also a wonderful character, by the way, uh, Mr. T is a terrific guy to play with. He's very playful. And uh, I don't know, it was just fun. These guys were cool guys. And uh, a lot of fond memories for me. And I suppose that uh, Robert, you did the shooting in Santa Clara in California. And in terms of that episode, were you, was it a week in terms of the shooting of the full episode? And uh, did you know when you got cast in the role as um, Harold Wilkins that? Ted Martin, who played Logan Watkins, John Stroud, who played Pete Watkins, and obviously a, 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 an actor now that has become famous in his own right, MC Ganey, who played C.W. Sarkin Watkins. Did you know they were on board and had to work with him previously? Which character? Um, MC Ganey, who played C.W. Watkins. And uh, Ted Martin, who played Logan, and John Stroud. Okay. No, I, I, I don't think I ever worked with those guys before this. Um, the part I had, and I think I had met Mr. T once before. Um, I mean, doing a, an episode on someone's series, it's almost like family. Usually the cast is very friendly to themselves. They all know each other. They work with each other every day. So when you come on, in most, most cases, it's always very friendly. Uh, terrific to have you do their show and even though you don't know the actors they usually know your work which is pleasant they are aware of who you are the quality of your work and they mention it usually th that they're grateful that you're doing their show and that really makes it very validating and a pleasure to do it even when you're playing the stink guys you know and I suppose, uh, Robert, in, in, there's some uh, sort of uh, moments for your character in that episode. I suppose the time when you're, you yourself and Dee go around to the house uh, when the A-team are not around and try and break in to the house for the two girls. And there's a scene where you actually take a, a fire extinguisher as uh, blown into your sort of face. Uh, in terms of seeing the script and all that and working uh, with uh, Melinda uh, in terms of that sort of scene, is that an awful lot of fun? Is it what was the last part? Working with Melinda in that scene was that an awful lot of fun? That scene for you? Always fun when there's a lot of action, fighting, uh, particularly on that show because they had the comedic value, even in taking you down. Some I mean outrageous stuff. So to me, um, it's very different than doing something like Magnum, which I also did. Um, I, that was probably around the same time. Magnum was very, very strong, uh, more realistic. This had that ad additional quality of having the humor. So doing all those events and wild stuff is always fun for actors to do. You rehearse it and you then do it and you hope that everything goes right. And when there's a lot of action, you hope you get it right the first time. And sometimes you have to do it over and over and then do it some more and then do it again. And then 
one more, please. And then one more, please, but then one more. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do it over and over. I suppose, Robert, we're going back a long time now, and I, I know it seems to be a bit uh, in terms of 50 years now, but in terms of uh, that sort of episode, if you can remember, was that a long sort of working week uh, on set in terms of filming that, if you can remember, were you there for a week, maybe two weeks or more shooting that episode? No, it's usually a week for those episodes, which is kind of amazing. It has always amazed me, even though I've been in the business so many years, that uh, you can get a episode done in less than a week and get it edited and on the air. I mean, wow, um, just a lot of fun. I've always loved doing what I chose to do in my life. And uh, uh, this one took just, a, it always takes less than a week, uh, probably five days, where I worked on it probably five days only at the most. And I suppose, uh, Robert, in terms of uh, the A-team and obviously working on a uh, set, and obviously the A-team became globally sort of famous in terms of, in terms of ratings in America and all across the world. Uh, when was the first time you actually got to see back your own episode? Uh, was it maybe one or two years afterwards? Uh, no. In terms of no, uh, it's usually in a couple of months. Yeah. I don't recall on this particular one, but it usually only takes, um, I mean, if, if the season is going on, you're usually, uh, oh, maybe there's two or three episodes that are ready to go. Um, and then you can see it. You can see it in a couple of weeks even. Sometimes you do a, an episode and it's on in three weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> 